Um, he's Shots. a legend in his own self. Um, you've done some crazy stuff um, and you've been acknowledged with so many incredible um, DJs, musicians Shots. of just so many different platforms from like Boiler Room to DJ yeah. Mag, like some crazy stuff man <laughs> um so sure. i mean i don't really i feel like you need to introduce yourself because yeah you have so much well, weight so without further ado i'm gonna i'm gonna bring it over to you cheers um well i'll try um <laughs> so i'm kalba saki um <laughs> from new delhi yes. and i'm glad to be here honestly like this is my first like like coming to a radio show and like doing it because we we usually don't have those in India and I'm just so like excited to play right now and yeah like I've been in London for about like nine months now and ah. yeah exactly and how I've have you been, found the UK well um I'll be honest like the first week so I, I this is not my first time here like <laughs> I, I came before as well like about 10 years back and um yeah when I came back it was just so different from what I am like remember from like 10 years back when I was a kid but uh yeah this one was like i mean i was really excited for the music and i came right when the summer was about ending like september oh, so i just got a bit of a you know glimpse at the shows and the vibes that like london summer has you know a little bit uh, of a taste of yeah exactly to what it could be. and i was looking forward to a lot of like like I'm a piano gigs like some really like nice summer tunes you know and after that now the summer's coming back and I'm excited to like play all that stuff just release my releases are also like very summery right now so like I'm just excited to play those and just get the party started you know I mean you've had you've made some incredible mixes Cheers. like I've used them in my own <laughs> sets as yeah. well as like some incredible vouchers like La Shlata of course yeah. um, she's incredible Artie as well uh -huh. she's used some of your um, yeah. remixes as well and it's crazy <laughs> that like from just being here for not so long yeah it's just developed into this huge That's thing right, yeah like I mean like uh, but like just coming here was just a full circle moment because I knew so many people here and yeah. they were just like, why are you here? Like, what, what are you doing? And like, I was just like, what are you uh, doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? And I'm, I'm here. I met all these people in person. It was just like, it was such a full circle moment. Yeah. And like, yeah. Do you miss home? I mean, I keep going pretty often. Like, I just finished a tour, like, in uh, April, like, oh, in no. India. Yeah, oh, okay. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw so, these little bits on the socials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I Tell did. Tell us about that tour, because um, it looked crazy. It was, it was. It was, <laughs> like, my first tour, obviously. And, like, I've been playing for years now. But, like, it was the first tour. And I got to see what, like, you know, if I'm if I'm to do this full time sustainably, you know, how it looks like doing a tour, the finances, the back end, you know, meeting new people. Like uh, the, the the thing I took away was the like the people I met and like I've been to all these cities like Bombay and Hyderabad and all that before. But like just just uh, meeting like people from like not even music, like just mm. creative industries, even like crazy entrepreneurs like I met a couple in Hyderabad and Gosh. Bombay and like met old friends like my best friend uh, he's from Chennai so that's a bit farther away from where I was playing so the last time I played in Hyderabad he was there and then this time also he came around with his girlfriend as well that's so, so nice. this it's just an excuse to meet like old friends you know yeah and yeah the shows were insane like um like we so I played with a couple of good mates so Stuvi shout out Stuvi he was there then uh, the Get Salty crew from Hyderabad. So these are all like pioneers and just like, just crazy like people who are, who are like taking it ahead in India. Like, and yeah. I'm so glad we worked with them. And yeah, it was, it was a vibe. It was amazing. I'm still buzzing. Like I'm still gathering. Like people still keep sending me videos from the tour. So I'm just like, it's <laughs> over mate. Like, you like, you were sick. Yeah, exactly. You were it's wild. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I love that. Yeah. How did you get into DJing? Like, what was your pinnacle point that you were like, actually, um, I would like a slice of that cake? So, um, right. So I started off as a producer. Like, okay. um, I started producing about when COVID started, like when the wave started in India, which was 2020. I don't know wow. what, what, what it was here. Yeah, yeah, it's a similar time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, I started producing because, so I was in a band before this and I was making music with a couple of mates. And then, you know, when I was locked in, I was just like, 
what do I do? I can't I can't do anything like I can't play I, I play the drums I can't play the drums right now I can't jam with my mates what do I do so I just I just start producing hmm. um obviously like every other producer I start off with hip hop beats so like type beats like nap Always. type beats <laughs> metro boomin type beats type type of stuff so it was hip hop where I started with um slowly I started getting into like underground music like dance music um honestly like one of the artists like who just released by the way Kate Tornado he was like my segue into like dance music and i was just like wow this is like this is not the dance music that i thought of because i was very skeptical around like dance music like, uh, i i don't want to go to the club stuff like that but i slowly started getting into it started slowly started producing house and stuff like that and then i started going out like properly like to, to raves <laughs> i'm going yeah I, i need to see this in person and i started going out and i started meeting people who like you know who were like you should start playing like uh, and one of my really good mates crayon shout out crayon rubber um Big shot. That's yeah he huge. was he was the first one to get me on and um yeah I, like that show was terrible for me but like like i i wasn't even carrying a usb i was playing off my laptop like no. i was one of those dj's who was carrying like you know the ddj 400 i was literally <laughs> and i had a laptop and my dj phone i just put it on top of these huge decks and i was just like okay i'm going to do my thing <laughs> and i ruined it like no mixing whatsoever but like the feel i i took the feeling away cuz all my mates were there all all these new people were there and they were like even though i played like a terrible set they were just like you got to do this again bro like yeah like i think that's kind of a notion with a lot of people as well yeah. like you if you if you're going to do this you've got to just do it yeah. like you've got to play exactly. it out because it's all good to be in a bedroom dj and it's all good like yeah. creating these things at home but if you don't know how to do it in i swear line yeah. line, line. if you don't put yourself out yeah. like how is the world going to get to know you like exactly. that's like that's like the one thing i like if anybody asked me like what what would be the one thing you would tell anybody it would be like yeah nobody's going to discover you mate like it's not 2014 like this is not like you need to put yourself out there you need to like make that image of yourself you need to put what what's going on in your head you need to put it down otherwise nobody's going to understand what you're about yeah and uh yeah thanks for everyone who's given me a chance so that i could be here so like 100% cheers. i mean like obviously the industry is crazy because it's all through word of mouth and yeah, who recommends who that's true. and and as annoying as it is like that's just how the cookie that's crumbles that's just how it is yeah um however i mean you've had high praises with some incredible DJs. i've been fortunate honestly yeah, yeah. no for sure <laughs> like be humbled about it and <laughs> but also like they also believed in your work and your yeah, and your true. ethos of how you are as well yeah. like yes it's who you know but it's also like what you're about as a person so i mean you shine you shine <laughs> so it's nice to kind of see that and I get those that. high praises and yeah. slowly get in your flowers because i think you you deserve all of that grace um yeah and I, it's like what you said like when you um when you discover like different genres within genres like mm -hmm. you think the basic house is 4x4 but yeah, no exactly, yeah. it doesn't have to be 4x4 it four. doesn't have to be exactly that it was can like be so different yeah and like even about like underground music even like south asian music mm. like yeah I'm, um i mean i i was just scrolling on youtube one day and i just found the young sing set the daytime set the iconic daytime set and i was just like <laughs> what is this like what's happening like is this our music is this not our music like yeah. why is he mixing grime with punjabi vocal like what <laughs> I, i was just in awe and like what you said like i found like niches among niches yeah and like it, it was like it was like you know i had i didn't even know that this kind of music could exist way, like way back when i was listening to it and just that feeling of discovering new music yeah. I, i think that's unparalleled like just finding new music is just unparalleled and yeah. that's that was the main motivator for me that you know how far can we How, how far can we take this and if if someone's not doing something like i'll be the one to do it so yeah. like like yeah basically. and also like what's missing and yeah, what exactly. can you create yeah. that yeah. is the missing pocket yeah i can't genre. be waiting for like producers to make what i want to hear <laughs> so i was just like okay let me just like let me, me just do producer, this let me just let do me it. just do it let me just do it like, <laughs> and people seem to love it so like i was like let's keep doing this Oh mad. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> um for those that don't know who you are and you just, you know, were wanting to introduce yourself, mm -hmm. what would you say you as Kalabasaki like what would be like 
who would you describe yourself with the genres and what would right. you say like this is the pinnacle of me hmm. well um i wish i had that elevator pitch prepared but like um <laughs> yeah like um i'm mostly associated with south asian sounds and that's honestly the kind of stuff i love playing but something that i feel like gets um missed is that i'm very versatile as an artist so mm. like i don't like to be boxed in yeah. which i feel like um it's not people it's just how it is like people like people or like listeners just you know try to categorize you because it's easier for them to understand Hear it. and i mean if i if i talk about the genres like i play and produce like there's literally no limit i i produce hip hop i produce house underground music jungle amo piano afro like i've the i've done literally goes, everything huh? yeah <laughs> and I, i i don't know if it's going to be like this in in the future like if i'm going to like find one sound and stick to it or whatever but till it's not like i want to keep it this way you know i i don't want to box myself in because i feel like as a as a professional doing this as well like um doing multiple genres doing multiple styles doing stuff like radio shows gigs mixes production i think it makes me versatile and sure. i think it grants me so many opportunities that some people are not able to you know grab and uh, i would like to keep it like this yeah. because like it just it like you know being so versatile has put me in so many cool rooms you know just made me like i have met so many cool people just because of how versatile i am yeah and i think that's where like i would like to put myself right now that i i take this as a gift like i can do so many things and i i unless somebody else is boxing me i don't want to box myself and yeah. i want to keep doing you know what i'm doing yeah and not give it like a category or such yeah and i think it's i think it's hard like you say like a lot of people especially yeah. that are not like in the industry they just yeah. want to box you in somewhere so that they can be like oh you sound like this person great well i mean i've been on the back end of it as well and i understand like yeah. you know you got to give people that you know okay this this dj he plays house <laughs> this dj he plays i get it yeah. like i no, completely I get it, it. and it. like i it just it's management in it like it's it's how you do things like on the back end and i totally understand that but like um i think it's it's difficult to like digest artists who do multiple things mm. and that's what i'm trying to do that's what i'm trying to do you know stuff like this just to like get my name out there and in a way that you know is sustainable that you know he's not just a south asian producer or just an underground producer or just like a hip hop producer he probably like he does everything yeah you know so yeah. A hundred percent. It's like I don't know if you know Rebello, but uh, I'm not sure, yeah. Rebello is—he's a very cool um, okay. DJ. He—we actually had him in last Wednesday, actually, oh, really? and he did some crazy stuff. I mean, I've known Rebello for the longest time. Okay. Um, but Rebello—he's um, um, South Asian, but he also um, has. a uh, portuguese descendant in oh, him oh that's that's a cool combination yeah like yeah. his vibes, that, yeah, um, his vibes so yeah. when he creates his edits which i have so many oh i need to check him out like you need to check him out oh, 100% <laughs> um some of his like remixes is like ballet funk with oh, grime yeah, slash yeah, yeah. like oh, yeah. um for sure indian oh, yes. influences it's crazy is he based in london yes he is oh, yeah, yeah yeah he's based in london you need to check him out yeah <laughs> Big That shout sounds. out to Rebello because <laughs> yeah no I love Rebello I think he's such a great DJ yeah. and and like the stuff that he creates is super super tasty and um, we went back to back with um in the flow in Flow Dem last week and oh, wow. it went crazy yeah. I literally was I'm like sure. even stuff that he has not released I oh, literally was like best. That's the you best. need to yeah. release yeah. this now <laughs> so I can have it <laughs> <laughs> it's one yeah. of those it's yeah. <laughs> but no definitely check him out and oh, yeah no, i just no. want to do a plug because yeah he's a he's a great guy and we've we've spoken about because i'm half portuguese as well okay. so it's great to kind of see the influences um and like yeah just in understand each other and he has a huge like love for grime so oh, when he mixes it I together i really need to check him out like that that's how like a perfect combination portuguese indian grime this violin. is it this is all yeah. you need that's just my that's just my lane yeah, yeah, yeah like <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, this is it. This is yeah. exactly it. I, and I yeah. think it's those like influences that transform into the, those niche pockets that you're like, yeah. I didn't know I didn't understand that this was a thing. Yeah. But it is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I love it. And that's why like even some of the influences when I play um 
yeah like mm. the the south asian like the ama piano yeah. but it has those elements of you know um african beat mm-hmm. percussion yeah. with the like bollywood yeah. sort of like yeah. melodies of yeah. the singers i'm just like yo yeah, this is just tasty yeah, it's the fusion stuff that li- that really gets yeah. me going like when so like i have some tunes i'm just going to play them i'm not going to talk about them <laughs> but like exactly what you're talking yeah. about and like um yeah it's the fusion stuff because like so we were just talking to aku who is based in uh, so no nazar yeah, 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 yeah. la so he was down here and we were talking to him, me and my friend hasan sharar hasan uh and we were just discussing you know his uh tune the Fal- Dam- dami palestini the ama piano edit it's it's doing rounds all over the world and he was just you know talking about like how through that tune um south african and palestinian people were able to like connect yeah and they were able to like connect off each others uh, like you know their histories and you know and and that's that's the i mean that's what music is for honestly yeah. like if i mean that's such a divine purpose and that's the that's the shit i live for honestly yeah, yeah like yeah Matt. yeah i feel like we're we're gonna i think we need to, we've got to stop we've got to stop talking and we've got to allow <laughs> you to start playing 100%. some of the incredible vibes um yes, i'm so. gonna let you load up i don't know if Cheers. you've got your first track loaded have you got your first I track haven't. loaded i can do that right now yeah yeah load your track um we've got about 30 seconds before you go in the mix oh, yeah. um but i'm so so excited for this <laughs> um we're gonna yeah, have an absolute jam i hope you guys are enjoying it as well um we're gonna do like a a mini mix like half an hour 45 minutes yeah, that's fine. um then we're gonna have like a quick chat and then tell us what you're planning to do this summer even though you're juggling a degree right now <laughs> like a master's like what is going on um yeah. and then and then we'll see the show out but i'm gonna i'm gonna take it over to you cheers um, Let's get it on. without further ado this is kawasaki in the mix enjoy people it's gonna be a crazy one <laughs> ऑडियंस आज हम आपको चांद पर ले जा रहे हैं ये देखिए ये रॉकेट इस रॉकेट से एक खूबसूरत महबूबा अपने महबूब के साथ चांद पर उतर कर प्यार की मस्ती में डांस करेगी
حسين يا حمراء ولا جوالية بعد اليوم لعنك الله يا ابن شبعة على هادي على هادي على هادي ابو عمشة شوف شوف تذكرون ابناء كرتون ساكي بي كبرانة بس طبعا انا جدائي لها سبحان الله صير عاجوز سلميني على سنان الله يرحمه
Let me move to the left. Let me move to the left. 
trip. AJ Tracy live and direct. DJ mash up the mash up the deck. The microphone jump is live and direct. And again, it's the hyperman set. AJ Tracy live and direct. DJ mash up the mash up the deck. The microphone jump is live and direct. Set bubble vibes in that. Cruise like a four wheel driving that. Tech time, everything's live in that. car AJ T's on the mic and that. I said bubble vibes in that. Cruise like a four wheel driving that. Tech time, everything's live in that. car AJ T's on the mic and that. That was crazy. Come through, come through. I'm gonna, let me put the mic on. Let me put the mic on. We could have kept it running. We could have kept it running. Yeah, we could have. I was having such a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Really fun. Wow. That was so great. Yeah. Love, man. Amazing. Uh, the people in the tube right now listen to this. Yeah. Talk I to us. I hope you had a good morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. Talk to us a couple of the blends, like the producers that you were featuring um, um, on in the mix. Let me think. Um, yeah, there was a lot of uh, Indian producers. There was Manan. Shout out Manan. He's from... He's from Bombay and he's in Dubai. I'm not sure, like, but he's such a sick producer. Yeah. Like, he makes hip hop, he makes house and like really cool stuff. Um, what else? Um, shout out Nado8. Um, he's from Bangalore. I think he was in London like like, like a few days back as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that was some house as well. Yeah, um, man. Yeah, some nice I'm a piano. Like, um, I don't know if I played any Indian tunes, like I'm a piano tunes, but... Uh, yeah, I played a lot of um, house mix with like desi vocals and stuff like that. That was nice. Yeah. And I ended it with like one of my upcoming um, edits. Um, it's called GT Grove. It's like GT Road <laughs> by Punjabi MC and Ladbro Grove by Come on, man. the yeah. Agent when Tracy. are you gonna bring that out? Uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this or next week. Like I really need to put it out. I'm just waiting for the artwork from my um, illustrator. Yeah. And uh, that should be done like I'm, I'm honestly just waiting to <laughs> drop stuff man like i'm like ready ready, ready yeah ready, yeah like go, the go, music go, is go, done go, go. i'm just waiting for like the rest of the <clears throat> things to come in the artworks and stuff like that Mad. so yeah wow yeah um you've been amazing Cheers. <laughs> it's been so nice to hear you play and it's yeah. been so nice to kind of um unpick your brain in so many different um genres that you kind of went past in your mix mm -hmm. like it was just it was just an essence of you. Yeah. Like, I feel like it was a nice full circle in terms mm -hmm. of like, you spoke about um, hip hop at the beginning where that's like your core and then mm -hmm. you kind of like gliding into yeah. so many niches and mm -hmm. so many pockets. So it was just a grace to see you play. So yeah, it was really love fun. man. Really, really fun. I mean, I've been, <laughs> I've been playing like, <clears throat> like parties and stuff. Like I've been playing like high octane sets for a while now. So like just to come down here, like, Tone it down, just play some nice house, you know? Yeah. Oh, that was blessed. <laughs> Morning well spent. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's like, I, I had this, I had the same feeling like the other day when yeah. I was DJing. Like sometimes when you DJ yeah. this sort of genre, like, yeah. you know, crazy genres, yeah. like all the time, uh -huh. you kind of just want to like, just take it back yeah, to your roots you wanna, a little you bit. Tone it down. You want to yeah. just like listen to the music, just like mix like very slowly, like no drop mixing, just like very just i love it like yeah i mean even if even if like i mean i would i if i would have done this online or like if it was radio like a guest mix of sorts i probably wouldn't have as, had that much fun because like you know just being here it's such a nice vibe here, it's such a nice day outside as well i know yeah, it was it's it's fortunately cute. not raining right now god but, yeah, yeah i mean let's fingers crossed. let's not manage it. yeah let's let's not let's not let's not let's not let's not oh my but, god yeah um, this was really fun thank you honestly so time. so much yeah. um what do you have planned for the summer that people can um, either check out or um or or things that you want to promo or, yeah, yeah like tell me what your itinerary <clears throat> looks like for this summer period so um i have a couple of like tracks coming out actually so like I have an edit okay. pack. It's called Seasonal Produce. Um, that's going to be the volume one. And uh, it's it's just a bunch of like really cool like DJ tools and edits, which people have been like after my life for like, just fuck, just release it. Just <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, come off it. Like, um, so that's the first one. Um, I got Sena Piano coming out with 
Kimera, shout out Kimera. He's from, he's a sick producer from Bombay, and he's become a good friend as well. Um, I met him at the tour for the first time. No way! Uh, yeah, like uh, he's he's such a mad producer. Like, so we produced <laughs> this Amo piano track. Um, uh, it's like a remix of Sena Sena from. It's like a it's like a old school 2000s banger. Lush. And like, yeah, that's coming out. Um, I have this uh, remix coming out uh, of Shore. Which is a track by Trick Singh. Also, shout out Trick Singh, mad um, rapper from Punjab. Yeah. Um, I have a UKG remix coming of that. And what else? I mean, that's a lot <laughs> already. But like, I also have an original coming up with Amnap Records. Shout out Amnap Records. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have. I've, I'm actually glad that I have so many releases planned because then I don't have to think. I just have to like post or like just do some promo, which also I hate. But like. I know. It is what it is. That's the only struggle with us DJs. Like, we just promo. have to constantly tell people that, like, it. I wish, I wish, I wish I had enough money to just get a guy to do it. I can't, I can't be asked. <laughs> it's, it's, I can't Honestly, bother enough, yeah. having a PA, I'm not gonna lie, having a PA is like the best thing oh, I've ever. Oh, <laughs> so like, uh, we had, um, Kayan over. She's she's one of the craziest singer songwriters DJs yeah. uh, from India. She was just on. Uh, she was here for like a good two weeks, and <clears throat> she she. I mean, I I saw her like she was going for sessions, um, throughout the throughout the week, throughout every day. She had like a packed day and everything, and she had a tour manager with her. And I just saw like that made things so much easier for yeah. her. Yeah. And yeah, man, wishing like. Wishing for that. <laughs> this is this is the Cheers. goal. This is the goal. To that's, get the, that's the honestly, yeah. It's a second brain. Honestly, I need a second brain. Sometimes, yeah, know. like for real, like sometimes yeah. you just needed that second yeah. person that can just yeah unweight that. I swear, yeah, like that yeah. The stuff that you have going on, that's and right. that can like you can focus on what you exactly. Need to yeah, do. I have so much other <laughs> stuff to worry about. Can go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's hoping. Yes, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> uh this has been crazy. Cheers. Um yeah, like I say, I can't I can't thank you enough. So thank you for coming through. Thank you um, so much for having me, man. Always, man. <laughs> and like um just a quick one, could you just let the listeners know your handles and yeah, where we can find either some of the remixes that you've produced um or like yeah, where can we find you on the socials so that people can follow you? Honestly, you everywhere. Um, Karl Besaki on all platforms. Instagra Kalbesaki. Instagram. <laughs> Finally, I have my own Instagram. So I had like it was at Karl Besaki dot music, and <laughs> and then I just I found I found the guy whose name was Karl Besaki. Did you? Yeah, I, I texted him. I was like, bro, what's it gonna take? <laughs> what did you have to do? I paid him. Did you pay him? Of course. Like, it was nothing. Like, uh, I mean, it's it's my name. Like, I got it. Yeah, I know. So, uh, like for the price, and name. it was honestly not that much. And I was just like, bro. Let me just have it. Like, let come me, on. Let me just come pay on, you. bro. Just yeah. So, what so, are they now? Are they Kalbasaki one? It's, it's Kalbasaki through and through. So, like Spotify, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, Instagram, YouTube. That's like the five main platforms. Yeah. I'm not on Twitter or anything. I am, but like. No one uses TikTok that. as well. I've I've started using TikTok. So like I don't know if you know this. Like we don't have TikTok in India. It's banned. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah because we have China disputes and that. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. like TikTok is banned. Damn it. Once we India was at the top of the game when TikTok was in India. Yeah. Like if you remember those funny ass yeah. TikToks, we don't have that anymore. That's but like sad, yeah, man. I'm also on TikTok, guys. I have, I try to put content as much as I can. <laughs> and um, yeah, shout out to Hassan for pushing me to do it. But like. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Kalbasaki on all platforms. Check it out. A lot of new stuff coming. And um, thank you so much to you and no, Voices stop. Radio and Juice Presents. This was such a fun morning. Yeah, Cheers. man. It's bit. honestly been crazy. Kalbasaki is your man. <laughs> like, just just holler at him. Follow his journey. Um, follow him where he goes because it's going to be super creeper crazy. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to jump in like the most tiniest bit like little licks ever and then i'll close it and then hopefully so, straight after me we've got um a foma v so you do not want to miss her um but yeah let me get straight in with this next one um this is a jersey club edit i know right, <laughs> i know for like jersey well anyone that's seen me and knows me how i play i normally play um <clears throat> latino afrobeat jersey oh, all of that stuff and that's where i like to go i have i found this edit of nasty girl Damn. like it's, it's a jersey that's edit nasty yeah girl. I'll, I'll, I'll probably send it to you like, oh my god you please. Spend that. yeah please because i love that song yeah, so much <laughs> 
same, same, yeah. I've literally been, so that particular track, right? Yeah. That has been on my radar oh, yes. for like a long time. Yeah. And I see everyone just like having I'm the best time. Yeah. yeah, it's a so sick jersey edit. It's one of my mates in Australia as well. Man! Yeah. That is literally my energy every single yeah. time. I'm going to send you that. Yeah. Please. Yes. Right. Let me get uh, in to a quick mix. Sick. And then hopefully if Omar turns up, I'll close the show. And then we'll have a great rest of our day. Cheers. Let's go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh. For my Asian ting and Alenga. For my Asian king in a lenga. For my Asian king in a lenga. 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 For my Asian king in a lenga. Stop. 